the Lord gives us many opportunities to reach out with love to other people. But we have to be very careful that we're not doing this in a manner that is the same for every other person out there. People have different needs. Giving a great big smile to someone who's just lost their mother in a traffic accident isn't what they need. But perhaps what they really need is just simply, I'll be praying for you and I'll be praying for your mother. May God get you through this difficult time. There are other times when we have old friends or relatives that we haven't seen in years and just a little quick telephone call, letting them know that they are in our hearts and that we wanted to check up on them can mean a huge difference to them. It's the same way with maybe a neighbor that is going through dark times and there's not much we can do about it except be there for them in a way that lets them decide what we could do for them by being friendly to them or open to them or calling out to them as they're going up to their porch and saying, you know, anytime you need me, I'm here for you. Little things like that that can make a huge difference. The more we do things like this, the more we feel the love of Christ in us and the more of a benefit we are to the souls of those who come in contact with us. We need to remember that we are all created in the image and likeness of God, but we're all different. The best thing we can do for each other is to embrace the difference and not force anything on anyone else. If we sense that they need space, we give them space. If we sense that they need personal interaction, we give them that. But we ultimately leave all of this to God. And we ask God to inspire us to do what is right for others. If you have found this content to be a blessing, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Amen. Only begotten Son.